Welcome to this historic ancient market town in the northwest of England. Like many towns on our islands, it has a remarkable history. This is Macclesfield. There's been a church on this site since the 13th century, and the oldest part of this church is the Savage Chapel, which was built in 1502. This is the Church of St Michael's and All Angels, right in the middle of town. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Anchorites, a religious movement that was around in medieval times. A certain Joan Heath, a nun from Derby, was incarcerated in this tower of her own free will. Documentation was authorised by the Bishop of Litchfield and Coventry. It was a very interesting time because the printing press had just been invented and also the Bible hadn't been translated from Latin. This of course was before the Reformation in 1517 when Martin Luther upset the Catholic Church somewhat by exposing its corruption. This is one of the two rooms which could have been the cell, three paces by three paces. The anchoress would have lived here, or anchorite, if it was a man, but it was generally a woman that took up this profession. There's a small slit here where we can view the altar. Many towns across the land had their own anchoresses, and in Cheshire we had eight. We had three in Chester, one in Frodsham, one in Christleton, one in Middlewich, Stockport and of course here in Macclesfield. The anchoresses uh, had a reputation for wisdom and so they were revered by the local population. The cell or anchor hole had a curtained window where the locals could come and take guidance. Although cut off from society they often had a handmaiden to look after their daily needs and of course they got funds from the local community. Why anyone should want to cut themselves off from society in this way is a fascinating question. It certainly is an interesting story waiting to be told.